Hi there, Taylor from Markfield Woodworking Machinery and I am with the Robland Z500 X3 panel saw. So this is a top range panel saw from Robland. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big saw uh, with a 3.2 meter sliding table, uh, which achieves a 3.5 meter cut. How they achieve that is the sliding table goes a couple mil, couple hundred mil past the uh, center of the saw blade. Uh, so that's how they achieve the 3.5 meter cut. Uh, this machine is equipped with a touchscreen, programmable height, angle, and position of the rip vents, two digital readouts on the crosscut fence um, with, uh, with, with, with two stops, dual support on the crosscut fence, the outrigger table, sorry, um, and uh, another, another support on the outrigger table here. So uh, let's get into the video. So this is the first support, which we can pull out here. This is for, of course, your bigger boards that you're doing a cross cut on. Um, and then we have this other dual support on the outrigger table, which we can position like so. So we've got a handle underneath to tighten down um, and lock. So that's a really nice option um, and very, very helpful when it comes to moving egger boards, uh, sorry, using egger boards uh, especially. So. Yes, we've also got the mitre guide readout in the outrigger table. So how this operates is we'd loosen the two handles that secure the crosscut fence. We'd move it around and then we can use the readout here as a reference uh, to what angle we're on. We also have these preset angles, which we can slide the crosscut fence, fence into, um, lock the position and use the presets as well. So... Uh, really nice profile on this machine. As you can see, the cross-cut cross fence is, um, is pretty big uh, and a very nice profile. So you can see here we have the telescopic fence with the angle readout. So we just want to loosen that and then we can pull that out. Got a manual readout here with the magnifying glass. And then further down, we have uh, a digital readout there. Another magnifying glass on it as well. Uh, with the industrial stop and look at the profile and that's really thick stop uh, there's no play in that whatsoever once it's tightened down so it's a um, very good stop um, handles underneath there are a little bit loose uh, I've just been playing with this machine before making the video so uh, that was the rattling there there's no movement in the stops so we have the digital uh, sorry touch screen Colour touchscreen here uh, with, of course, your programmable options. So uh, we've got the parallel rip fence here. So if we just type in a 300 mil, press OK, and just press the white button once, as you'll see. And your new position is indicated on the touchscreen. Same with the blade height. So it's currently at 50 mil. We can do that to 100 mil. Um, it's a 500 mil maximum diameter of blade. You can just see that there. 500 mil at the bottom. And then you've also got your RPM here. And then we are good to press the white button. Now we don't actually have a blade on the machine at the moment, but you can hear it operating. And you can see the value changing on the screen. Angle is exactly the same as the previous two. Let's just do 20 degrees for this one. Hit OK, press the white button and uh, See, there you go. So uh, you even had the, you even saw the blade height change there as the angle went around uh, to the 20 degree. So of these two features, uh, these two buttons here, we've got the start for the main blade, and uh, start for the scry blade, and the, and the black buttons at the bottom are to stop. Emergency button on the touchscreen, of course. Job sheet holder there, very nice. And then we've got a handle here so we can move the... Um, touchscreen around so if you're doing rip cuts and you're working on uh, whichever side of the panel saw um, rip fence can be moved around as you'll see there are grooves in the rip fence so you can actually turn this around I'll do it for you now and um, put it on the angle So that's on the angle um, and now we can tilt the blade 
over and do some angle work with the angle fence. Now you might notice the hole in the, almost in the center of the cast iron table. That's for your spindle lock. You can pop that down there. Um, if you've owned a panel saw before, that is probably exactly the same as what you've had previously. Now the sliding table will stop in two positions in its current position where it is. Um, it will lock there. You can also slide the sliding table all the way in, in this direction before the blade um, and it will lock. That is so you can load your boards on without the sliding table running away from you. Um, a really nice safety feature on this machine is the safe LED light. So how this works, I'll just move the guard out of the way. So how this works is when you operate the LED scribe, sorry, the scribe, uh, this LED will initiate and come on. It will only come on when the scribe is activated. So, of course, the scribe is spinning at 8,200 RPM. Normally, uh, you're, only, you're only taking a mil or two mil. Uh, so when that's only just above the table, uh, by a mil or two mil, it's spinning at 8,200 RPM. It's very difficult to see. When the scribe is on, this LED strip will illuminate red and that will allow you to know that the scribe is on spinning. Um, so not to put your hand over it, essentially. Overhead guard. Um, we've got a soft stop here so we can loosen this and then we can stop it pretty much anywhere we want. Uh, and then we've also got the serrated teeth at the back so we can use the two clamps at, uh, at the front and at the back of the guard and then we can put that wherever we want or loosen it and uh, that's your overhead guard this is on a swing away arm as you can see the handle just there so we can uh, move the handle sorry move the overhead guard out of the way when we're changing blades this is also used as the extraction arm so if I show you the back here so this one here uh, is also the extraction arm so we just got to pop that off, put your extraction flex on there, and uh, you will be good. The second extraction outlet is underneath the chip flap, just there. So you can see it's on the 20 degree angle, uh, that's 120 mil. The guard on the arm is 100 mil. So normally any, any extractor with a 1900, 2000 CFM uh, will be good enough for, for this machine, essentially. Uh, and that's pretty much the Z500X3 uh, in a nutshell. I don't think I've missed anything. Pretty, pretty big machine, very, very industrial spec from Robland. Um, so yeah, this is available in the showroom to demonstrate. Price is 16,500 pounds plus the VAT, uh, plus delivery and commissioning. And uh, yeah, hope this was informative. Cheers.